lucky young man is Idaho's newest millionaire. Yeah, the 25-year-old salesman said he was in disbelief, yeah. as you might imagine, when he realized that he had the winning lottery ticket for a million dollars. Fox 9's Lauren Johnson is live tonight in studio with his story. Lauren? Roland and Michelle, what would you do with a million dollars? It's a question most of us have asked ourselves at one point in time, but one man in Boise actually now has to decide. You're our latest millionaire. <laughs> So can't believe it. That newest millionaire is 25-year-old Jacob Christofferson, who was in disbelief when he realized he had the winning lottery ticket purchased at this Maverick on Locust Grove and McMillan. I hyperventilated. I thought I was going to throw up. Um, I cried a little bit. I'm not going to lie. The first person Jacob called was his mom. He works hard. He's got such a big heart. And he's been through so much that I'm... I want him to be happy. When he was five years old, Jake's dad died in a car accident. It was just 10 days before Christmas. But that's not all his mom tells me. When he was nine, his brother Austin, who was just 17 months younger than him, was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So after watching his brother for seven years get worse and worse, deteriorate, Austin passed away when he was 14 and Jacob was 15 and a half. But on Saturday, luck changed. I some extra tickets that I hadn't checked in my sock drawer. Those extra tickets turned out to be, well, a pretty big deal. One of the first things he said is that his brother was watching over him. After calling his mom, he called his girlfriend. He's like, I'm in a weird place right now, I, and I have to call you back. But before I call you back, I just won the lottery. And he hung up, and I'm just like, no way. I expect to wake up in my bed and and find out this was all just a dream. Didn't believe it till I saw it for myself. We all took selfies with it. <laughs> He's determined to do the right thing and be smart. I really want him to know that good things can still happen for him. Jake tells me that he plans to take care of his mother. He also said that he has no plans to quit his current job as a salesman at Container and Packing Supply and that he plans to invest the money wisely. Live in studio, Lauren Johnson, Fox 9 News at 9.